Okay, so suppose you are dealing with a patient who is you are suspecting pulmonary embolism and you need to thrombolyze it. So as per AHA, you will thrombolyze by suppose LT place. You will thrombolyze by 100 mg over a period of two hours. Now, but if you receive a patient of or if you see a patient who is in cardiac arrest and you are doing a CPR, and now you suspect this patient is in cardiac arrest secondary to pulmonary embolism, means this patient has crashed because of pulmonary embolism. So how much dose you need to give to this patient to thrombolyze? So you will thrombolyze with half the dose. Means if you give the half the dose of LT place, uh, uh, the normal dose is 100 milligrams. So you will reduce it to half 50 milligram, and you will not give it by infusion. You will give it as bolus. So during a CPR, if you feel that this patient is in cardiac arrest due to pulmonary embolism, you give half the dose as the bolus. So LT place 50 milligram uh, uh, as a bolus. Why it is so? It creates a balance. So it will thrombolyze the clot as well as reduce the chances of bleeding, traumatic bleeding because of the ongoing CPR. So that's the logic. Secondly, most importantly, another important point. If you have thrombolyzed the patient during CPR in suspicion of pulmonary embolism, then you need to continue CPR for at least 60 to 90 minutes so that we give a patient a fair chance of revival in case the clot gets thrombolyzed. You do not need to stop it early. You continue the CPR at least for 60 to 90 minutes in case of thrombolysis of P suspected during CPR. So this is important. Do read more about it. Thank you.